Good morning, I'm Bridget. And I'm Dante. Welcome, Welcome to, to Tech, Tech News, News today. today. Paris residents experienced an unpleasant surprise on Friday, November 13th, 2015. During a soccer game between France and Germany, terrorists from ISIS attacked a French soccer stadium, injuring French citizens and many tourists. Many workers at Destiny USA do not want the mall to open on Thanksgiving. Many workers believe that now that the mall opens on Thanksgiving, Black Friday doesn't exist. Most of the deals occur only on Thanksgiving, which disappoints many people. Thanksgiving is supposed to be spent with family, not at the mall looking for the deals. In my opinion, I don't think the mall should be open on Thanksgiving. It should be time well spent with family. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has arrived and get ready for the most brutal, realistic, futuristic, and zombie killing game of the year. Black Ops 3 was released on November 6, 2015, being released on PS4, PS3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360, being one of the most anticipated games of 2015. Lamar Odom is still hospitalized at the Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. According to HollywoodLife.com, on November 4th, there was a dispute going on between Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom's family. While he is fighting for his life in the hospital, he is also fighting to keep peace between his ex-wife and family members. Joe Odom, Lamar's father, stated that Chloe wasn't allowing them to visit him. Lamar's family doesn't like how much control Chloe has over certain things. There will be more information on this story soon. Four more people were diagnosed with breakbone fever from mosquitoes on Hawaii's Big Island Thursday, raising the number of locally transmitted cases to 19 people, according to the Hawaii State Department of Health. A nine-year-old girl was mauled to death in Syracuse, New York, by a pit bull while playing in a friend's yard. No one knows why the dog attacked her. The dog was shot after charging an officer. People say the dog was a beast, but gentle. The music industry today has changed a lot, and people are creating more and more record labels. But are the new young artists getting played into bad contracts? Prince, the legend of funk and rock, told the people that the music industry is like slavery. After his performance, he spoke to reporters from the National Association of Black Journalists Saturday at Paisley Park Studios in Minneapolis and told them that he has concerns o over the future of music because no one is playing fair anymore. Red Ribbon is a week for school and communities to unite and take a visible stand against substance abuse and show their personal commitment to a drug-free lifestyle. The mission of the Red Ribbon Campaign is to present a unified and visible commitment towards the creation of a drug-free America. The Red Ribbon Campaign was started when drug traffickers in Mexico City murdered DEA agent Kiki Camera in 1985. This began the continuing tradition of wearing and displaying red ribbons as a symbol of intolerance towards the use of drugs. And that concludes our tech news for today.